Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me Staring with that awkward smile From the other side of Thompson Street I felt love for a little while Cause you looked beautiful And the sunset glowed In that sunset glow You looked more beautiful Than anyone I know Friends, on behalf of Ian and Kirsten, I'd like to welcome you here to share with them on this special day as they're joined together in marriage. We love many people in our lives, parents, family, friends, but it's when we fall in love that life takes on new meaning. It brings excitement and purpose to our lives in a way that we did not experience when we were alone. It's one of life's richest surprises when the accidental meeting of two live paths lead them to a common path of husband and wife. It's one of life's finest experiences when a casual relationship grows into a permanent bond of love. Such a meeting and such a growth brings us together today. There's no greater gift than the love that makes two people one. And there is no greater indication of that love than the public commitment which unites two people as husband and wife. It speaks of the great confidence by which people mutually rely upon and believe in one another. It's a wonderful tribute to Ian and Kirsten to see them joining hands and hearts in perfect faith. Kirsten, I promise to love and to respect you, to be your partner and friend, to help you fulfill your dreams and stand by you, whatever life brings, for the rest of my life. I choose you to be my husband my partner in life. I promise to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly. I promise through the pressures of everyday life, oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> through the pressures of everyday life and the uncertainties that await us in the future, I promise to face them all with you with love, honor and respect. I promise to respect you and all of the unique traits that make you who you are. I promise to support you and give you the strength you need to achieve everything you want in life. I promise to take care of you, to encourage you and to inspire you and I ask you to be no one other than yourself. I already knew you were the man of my dreams but seeing the intensity with which you love our family has only made my love for you grow stronger. You are simply put everything that I need and here in this moment I feel like everything I wished for when I was younger has finally come true. From this day forward, you will never be alone. My heart will be your shelter and my arms will be your home. Kirsten, I give you this ring as a pledge of my love and commitment. Ian, I give you this ring as a reminder that I will love, honor and cherish you in all times, in all places, in all places and in all ways, forever. By my authority as an Australian marriage celebrant, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Ian, you may now kiss your bride. Don't, don't let me down 
I need you now, cause I'm feeling worn out, it's getting to me, lost some heart trying to get on my feet, caught in the madness. To everyone here, thank you, a big thank you. Thank you everyone for coming to help us celebrate this day. It's a special day and uh, we're delighted to have you here to help us um, in the joining of these newlyweds. Ian, um, Pam and Amanda, I know you do and of course we're all with you in wishing that your father and your husband was here to help us celebrate. <clears throat> I'm saddened that I ne never had the opportunity to meet him but I know he was a good man because you're a lovely family. And Ian, I know that I can't and never will replace him, um, but I do want you to know that Susan and I don't just welcome to you, our fam you to our family. We uh, consider you to be our son, our flesh and blood. And we'll do so for the rest of our lives. So on that note, I'd just like to take a moment here to uh, ask you all to stand, charge your glasses, and to raise a toast to your father and your husband, to Stephen. I'm sure you know that, rose, that marriage is not always roses. Um, sometimes we have bad days. I suppose if I can offer some advice, it is just to be friends, to be mates, to be kind to each other, and never to be nasty. It's really that simple, I think, but it's important. It's important to be friends and to be mates. My family and friends, I think we should stand again and uh, charge our glasses and propose a toast to these newlyweds, Ian and Kirsten. Ian and Kirsten. And wish them a long, happy and healthy life together, come sunshine or rain. Cheers. The other day, Kirsten was saying that one of the most important factors in their relationship is respect, because they're so different. And when you're so dissimilar, it can be easy to argue or find fault with your partner. Love isn't always easy. Love isn't always perfect. But when two right people find each other, they will always fight to make it work. Two of those people are sitting in front of, of us today. And it's incredibly cheesy, but it's true. I feel blessed to be a part of their celebration of love. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> so join me in raising a glass to Kirsten Nian. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. He uh, is, is scared of snakes, scared of spiders, is really scared of the ocean, but uh, most of all, he's, he's, he's scared of putting his hand in his pocket. Uh, you know, <laughs> me and Ian have been friends for over 20 years, and um, you know, like some of the best times in my life have been whilst Ian's been in Australia. Uh, um, <laughs> But, uh, but, but seriously, I mean, um, you're a lucky set of lads, you know, like uh, lads who can call, call you and your friend um, to have him out here. Um, I've never met anybody so loyal. I think the life that you've built for yourself over here with Kirsten, Finlay and Hugo, I think that you're a complete success, mate. Um, and I absolutely love you. And we miss you, but... We're so happy for you. Um, so, that being said, um, can we all stand, please? And raise a glass. <laughs> uh, and toast to success and to the new Mr. and Mrs. Wilcox. It's my new bride, Kirsten. You're the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I'm truly privileged to be able to call you my wife. Wife.
<laughs> Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for being the most amazing mother to our son. And I can't imagine life with anybody but you. I hope you enjoy your night. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Some heart.